So in addition to the SharePoint intranet, the centralized team resources and all those extras that we add into Microsoft Teams, the other thing that you can do is use the Cloud Design Box uh, admin panel. So in the admin portal, you can manage all of the schools in your tenant. So if you're multi-academy trust, you can delegate access to a particular school if you wanted to. Um, and within here, we can create brand new sites. These will create teams or create sites and add them automatically to the mega menu. And they're really simple forms that you can fill in. Uh, so I could create a training site, add it to the communication menu and add in some owners and members. Click save, that'll create the site, add the web parts of the page, add it, add it to the mega menu and security trim it. We've also got assignment analytics and these are for measuring teacher engagement. So you've already got the uh, student engagement using insights that comes out of the box of teams. What we use assignment analytics for is to measure teacher adoption across the entire school or trust. So I can see the percentage of classes with assignments, average assignments per class. This is a demo, so they're quite small numbers, but you'll see the usage over time across the entire school. And then I can also rank it by subject area or course. So this will give me a good view. You know, if there's a particular subject area that might need a bit more extra CPD time or training, I can quickly identify it here and hopefully resolve that before it becomes an issue. I can even drill down into uh, one of these subjects. So I could drill down into English. I can see how they are doing as a subject area across all of their classes. I can see their usage over time. And I can also see the individual classes and how many active and total assignments they have set. I can even drill down into an individual class, see the usage over time and see a list of all the assignments that have been set, when they were created and when they do. So if you're a head of department or member of the senior management team, instead of having to micromanage a class by going into each individual one and checking that work's been set, checking that the quality of resources are um, up to scratch, then actually as a head of, head of department, you can use the centralized resource areas we create in team to keep track of the quality of resources being used across your department. And you can also check that work is being set using the assignment analytics without having to be added into each individual class team. Now, one thing that you might find really useful is the cover manager. So if you needed to assign a teacher to a class that they don't teach in the school management system, so it, there might be a bubble that's been burst during the pandemic, um, a teacher might be off sick, and you might need to quickly add somebody into a team temporarily, then you can use a cover manager. So I can select a teacher that I'm going to inject into a particular class. So this might be an English class that he's covering and I can set a date for that person to be automatically removed from that class so if they're covering a teacher while they're off isolating for uh, 10 days then we could remove them um, uh, 10 days later and as soon as I click save that will add that person into that class team and it will automatically remove them at a particular date that I've um, entered here so you can temporarily add people into cover classes. So ideally you want to do it through the MIS and, it for, and for it to all happen automatically using school data sync. But these are extraordinary times and we need to be as flexible as possible. So in that case, you can quickly inject somebody into a class and you can even delegate access to this. So they don't have to be a global admin or a Teams admin to be able to do this. You could say my, um, uh, you know, one of my uh, heads of year or uh, head of department could actually come in here. I can delegate access so they just have access to things like assignment analytics and the cover manager um, and they don't have to be a full admin of the site. And we do that through the school access option. So within here, you can add users to this admin portal and that's really easy to do. I can give them school manager level, which lets them create sites, view analytics and set cover and also manage other users or I could just set them as a school leader and that would just give them access to view analytics and to set cover. And I just do a quick search for the person that I'm going to uh, add into and I press save and that will then give them instant access to this admin portal.
and you can do that per school so in this drop down you'll see a list of all the schools in your tenants you can switch to another school and again give unique access and delegate just for that individual school so please take a look at our other demo where you can see um, where we go through all the different sort of teams and sites that we create so your communication sites for publishing information to large groups of people in the organization your non-curricular collaboration sites replacing some of those shared drives that you might currently have your subject areas where you can centralize resources so you can reuse them in teams that you teach so if you're an english teacher and you've got four year 11 english classes you don't really want to be uploading resources four times every academic year. So our centralized resource areas save teachers time by keeping all your resources in that central area and you can use them inside those teams. And we add all those customization to the class teams so you can easily get access to those central resources. So if you would like to find out more, please get in touch on our website and we can give you an online demo.